if you compare that to actually many years it takes to go from a cotton field into a finished garment, it's pretty simple and quick process. <laughs> For the last couple of years, I've been researching kind of new solutions at the intersections between uh, synthetic biology and digital fabrication. For my final project, I've mainly been focusing on bioprinting. This bioprinting technique is normally like super expensive and like, you know, something that's more belongs to like medicine and tissue engineering and, and all these kind of things and it's quite an accessible technique. So for me, it was super interesting to learn how to find more do-it-yourself ways of, of approaching it. So yeah, this is like different kind of weaving techniques that I've been developing with the, with the bioprinter. Bacterial cellulose is uh, nanocellulose, which is super interesting in, it, in its properties. Like it's actually stronger than cotton, for example, which is another cellulose fiber. The idea now is that you will be able to scale this up and actually being able to print 3D garments. It also has this great advantage that we will be able to grow it in a lab environment. So we don't need like this whole complex supply chain that fashion is today is built on. So we don't need like big uh, cotton fields and stuff that we could actually grow our materials straight in, in, a, in a lab. It's in a way actually like so much more simple than, than today's supply chain. Like, I mean, first it needs to grow for two weeks maybe, and then we purify the bacterial cellulose and then we make it into a bio ink, which is a few steps. But if you compare that to like the, actually many years it takes to go from a cotton field into a finished garment, pretty simple and quick process. <laughs>